First of all, just historically with me, with me the past however many years, and even earlier in my career, when you have a hard fight and you, you know you take punishment or a hard camp, you know you take a lot of head damage, head trauma, and uh, usually you know I just fake my way through it, I tell the doctor I'm fine, and you know the MRIs seem are still going to be good because it's just kind of like concussion type stuff. Um, I think it's because I have kids and I have a lot more at stake these days that I just took my health a little bit more more into consideration. And when, when I was getting closer to this fight coming up that I had June 6th, I was uh, having some headaches that have lasted since my last fight in RFA. And I'm not sure if it's related to the fight or not, but the, the headaches are just killing me. So I basically just went to the doctor, told him my symptoms, and at that point he said, absolutely no more fighting. Um, and I just kind of took his advice for once. And uh, it was a hard day for me, I, I, won't, I won't lie. I went, went back to tell my boxing coach because we were really excited about my, my, my next fight. And everything was firing on all cylinders as far as other, other injuries and training. And um, I just made a decision to probably, I want to say retired, but indefinitely. I don't know if there's a comeback. That's why I didn't really tell anybody. I didn't let anybody know. I just kind of canceled the fight and went about my life. When I told my wife, she was, Sarah, she's been with me since the very first fight, uh, even as an amateur. If there was such a thing 18 years ago, but she was sad for me because she knows how much I, I want to fight and knows how, that I want to stretch my career as long as I can. Uh, there's other guys my age doing great, but they didn't start at 18 years old, you know, 19 years old. They maybe started fighting later in their life. I have, between my boxing fights and MMA, I have 85 fights, you know, that's, and uh, like I was explaining to you earlier, we talked all my fighters, I've been a part of all their camps. So however many rounds I've had to do in my life that weren't really for my my fight, probably added up. And she was a little relieved to know that I won't be hit in the head. And I got a good chance of coming out of this sport without any brain damage or anything like that. Uh, that prolonged training and, and fighting could possibly cause. You know what? Uh, my wife would probably kill me if she, I, when, I, when I went to my gym this morning, I had to go drop some stuff off. I looked at my gear, I, gra I grabbed my bag, I started loading my stuff. Like, I might as well train at least while I'm there, help out some of the other guys being a body, and I'm like, oh, no sense in sparring if I'm not gonna fight. So, uh, yes, it's very hard. Um, but I'm excited, I, I'm inspired by watching people train and chase their dreams, and I just hope that, hope that that's enough.